Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to demo the Sky Lovers Overlay Pack that is designed for Luminar 4. Now, uh, the, the, the reason why we're making these is because Luminar 4, uh, as you know, has um, a very cool feature called AI Sky Replacement. And this allows you to uh, pretty much instantly replace the sky in pretty much in any image that you have. And I'm going to demo this on three different images so you can kind of see how it works. But you're going to see the amount of images that comes in this new product uh, that is designed for Luminar 4. So let's go ahead and start with this image. This one's a very basic one. Uh, you could technically do this in Photoshop with pretty much the uh, the magic wand tool if you needed to, uh, but this isn't really a Luminar 4 demo uh, as I've already done a video like that. If you want to check that out, link in the description down below. But this one will just show you the types of overlays, the different sky overlays that come in this pack. So I have this image loaded over here. I'm in the creative section in Luminar 4 and I'm going to go to the AI sky replacement and just as you would normally do, I'm going to go over here and say uh, sky selection, pick that drop down box here and you can see these are the default skies that come with Luminar 4, but I'm going to go down here to load custom sky. Now, when you download the um, the uh, the product here, uh, once you purchase that product, you're going to get tons of sky overlays. They vary from you know, blue skies, sunsets, all that kind of fun stuff. And so for this one, I'm going to choose this one right here, the one that's highlighted, and I'm going to click uh, open right here. And just pretty much instantly, it's going to go ahead and replace that sky. And uh, you can see it kind of blends in pretty well. It's a, it works out pretty well. And this is without us doing pretty much anything. Uh, we can go in, in here and finesse the, the settings here. We can close some gaps in case there's some gaps that show up. This one there won't be because there's no uh, trees or anything like that. Um, but we can warm the temperature up on the sky. Uh, we can do the exposure of the sky as well. We can darken that as well. So we have a lot of things to play with here. But you can see this high res uh, sky image works very, very well with this actually pretty large uh, desert scene. And uh, again, you can go back in here and if you want to choose a different one, go down here to load custom sky. And uh, let's choose this one. Um, see what that one looks like. So that one looks like a, a one with a whole bunch of clouds and it blend, blends in pretty well. So you can see how easy that is. All right, so now what we're gonna do is try it on this image and this one can be a little bit tricky because it is a vertical image, uh, but we're gonna see what we have here. So I'm gonna go over here again to sky selection, go down to load uh, custom sky overlay and uh, let's pick a sky. Let's go kind of crazy with it. I'm not sure which one I wanna play with um, but let's, let's try that one. That's a good one. So we'll go ahead and click open and you can see it kind of blends in a little bit there. Uh, and what we can do here is try, kind of help this cell a little bit, a little bit better. We can actually just kind of warm up the temperature, uh, right there or cool it down. Maybe see what we can kind, of, kind of like there or change the exposure, uh, for some of these, I really do recommend changing the exposure, brightening it up a little bit because it does help sell it a lot. Uh, and what we can do is defocus if we wanted to. We don't really need to do that on this one, but that is an option. And again, we're just playing with these sliders to see if we can help it blend in a little bit more. Playing with the horizon position, uh, play with the horizon blending as well if we want to try to blend it in a little bit more. Um, and you can see we're just playing around here, but that is a, a good sky that kind of works in with this um, this image. It, uh, it really works well. I wouldn't go crazy with some sort of you know beautiful, fantastic sunset sky. This image just would not support that. But uh, maybe something like this might. We can try this image here, and again do the same thing. Uh, go over here, load custom sky image, and let's see if we can try to get a fun one here. I'm just going to cycle through some of these. Uh, that would be a really fun one. <laughs> That's, uh, they definitely need a different scene besides that one. Um, but let's see what we have here. Let's try a little simple one. Uh, this is a nice, simple sunset overlay. It's a gradient theme here. And we're just going to blend that in. Um, it's a little, little too less impacting. So I, I really don't like that one. So let's go ahead and choose another one. Let's go to load custom sky again. And again, we'll just cycle through some of these, see what we like. Um, let's try that one. That one look, might looks good here. Let's go ahead and click open. All right. So that one actually looks pretty, pretty nice. Uh, and we can position that again, uh, change the horizon position right there. Maybe try to blend it in a little bit more. 
There we go. And for this some, scene, something similar like this, it's really not going to match super, super well. Uh, but at least I wanted to show you what could be included in this. But to make it help a little bit better, we would have to go over here to the essentials and start playing around with maybe the white balance a little bit. Maybe warm the scene, uh, scene up a little bit. Play, Take down the the highlights and just start playing with it but uh, what we're doing is basically just kind of showing you the types of skies that go in with this collection and pretty much how easy they are to uh, change in uh, Luminar 4 so if you want to learn more about the Sky Lovers overlay pack for Luminar 4 link in the description down below head on over to sleeklens.com there's gonna be a lot more uh, before and afters there and you can see kind of what's included uh, but I appreciate you guys joining me in this video this has been Jordan from Sleeklens and I'll see you in the next one